Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a good old fashioned thrift haul. Um, I haven't really done a thrift haul before and so this is gonna be a plus size thrift haul. And I just wanna do this because I find thrift hauls really enjoyable. I like seeing what people value and what they, they found, the treasures they got. And it just, it brings me joy and it lowers my anxiety. And with everything going on, I just want to bring joy. And I just want to share this with you because you might get joy out of it too. And that's not to diminish what is happening right now. And Black Lives Matter. And we are all accountable to use our platforms in a way that raises up black lives and amplifies their voices. So below on this video, I'm gonna link to some black YouTube creators that I follow. And I invite you to leave comments to black YouTube creators you follow. And so maybe the comment section in this one can just lift up uh, some voices. And I know my platform is very small, but I think we all have an obligation to speak up whatever influence you may have and to speak up. And so without further ado, let's get into the haul. Now, this haul actually takes place in two states. So I live in the Twin Cities in Minnesota and I actually went thrifting over in Wisconsin and in the Twin Cities. So everything I got are in two days worth of thrifting. And when, I really want to point out here is I did not limit what I wanted to find based off season. I keep a running list in my phone and I talk about that in the video before this about thrifting tips. I keep a running list of all the things I'm looking for in my phone all throughout the year. And so some of those things I have on my list were uh, chenille sweaters. I love the way they feel. Um, I wanted cardigans that were cute and vintagey and buttoned down. I needed some basics. Um, I was looking for some cute vintage accessories. I was looking for some Western styled items like tooled leather, um, textiles that were Western style. And I was really looking for like that 90s vibe with a lot of my basics. You know, kind of like the ribbed tanks and just ribbed line clothing as well. And I think you'll see with this haul that I found a lot of these things that I had my eye on. So the first item that I found, I found in Wisconsin, and it is this dress I'm wearing. And so this dress is just a Target dress, but it's got like a very vintage feel, and I only paid about $5 for it. And what I love about this dress is despite it not being my size and being too large, because I can tie it around the waist, it still looks good on me. So always, 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 look in the larger sizes before you get down to your size because you never know what item could actually fit you since thrifting is kind of a guessing game with sizes. I also found this beautiful little necklace and it is actually an Avon necklace. So I don't think it's that old, but I love gold and teal and so this guy's my jam. So the first item is a beautiful chenille sweater for winter this was on clearance in wisconsin so wisconsin's goodwills are different than minnesota's and so this was like a dollar fifty and it is perfect it is basically brand new and it's my favorite color teal so this was a huge win for me and i'm always cold so let's face it i'm gonna wear this in the summer too more chenille y'all isn't this wonderful? This is one of the coolest 80s ugly sweaters I've ever seen. It's chenille, it's zip up, and look at those details of the sewing. How great will this be to kind of do a Disney bound in October and stylize my outfit after Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas? This is fabulous. And this was also on clearance, so I this was under $2. So the next item is a summery item. This is a beautiful duster. I really love the colors. I wear a lot of magenta and a lot of navy, so this is great. Um, I believe this was about $5. The next item is a beautiful scarf. Look at those details. Isn't that pretty? Little pom-poms on it. Um, 
yeah, this was on clearance as well in Wisconsin. Um, I think I paid maybe a dollar for it and it is gorgeous. So the next item I absolutely love. It is this full pink skirt with all these layers and ruffles. And it's like this great kind of 90s kind of vintage feeling skirt and I, I've already worn it this week. I love it so much. I'm gonna get so much wear out of this piece. And because it's a awesome block of color, I can really almost wear anything with it on top. So the next item is also another skirt. And this is an awesome 90s print skirt. It has pockets. We all love pockets, right? Um, it's Sag Harbor Vintage 90s, 80s. It's, it's fantastic. I just love it. So the next item is another great pop of color. And this vintage piece, oof, it's fantastic. And I'm really excited to wear it for work. I got this vintage blouse. I mean, just look at that detail on the top. It's adorable. And the tag is super fun. But yeah, this piece looks brand new and I love this color and I can't wait to wear it for work. So keeping on the bright blue trend and the vintage workwear, 80s power blazer. Now this one was for sure on clearance. I got it for like less than two dollars in Wisconsin and it, it is it is perfect it is the exact 80s power blazer I would ever want it's like velvety bright blue you know shoulder pads but oh my gosh you guys it looks so good on me like this this was a total score if I would have just found this I would have done a haul because this item is amazing so the next item is just a fantastic basic I found this really cute knit cowl neck. Um, it doesn't have any tags, so I'm not sure how old it is. I'm guessing it's probably 90s, early 2000s. But you know, knit is really in for um, for the summer and for the year right now. So this really nails that knit trend. Okay, so this next piece is a bit of a crazy stunner. Look at this epic jean vintage masterpiece Oof! so I love this because it's got kind of like Western vibes um, I, I think you can dress this in all kinds of ways and just have fun with this and this is a vintage Bob Mackie <laughs> how great is this I got this for about six dollars so the next item is something I found in the men's section. So one of my tips is always check out the men's section and not just for t-shirts. Um, check everything, check their blazers, check their pants, check their long sleeves, short sleeves, check them all, you never know what's there. I got this beautiful vintage Izod sweater. Um, it's got the cool long cuffs that you roll. Um, it's got the beautiful emblem, if you can see it right there. Um, and just telling by the way the tag is, I'm guessing this is 80s or 90s, but I love this color. This is such a great find, I couldn't believe it. And I believe this was $3.99. So the next piece I found, I couldn't believe I found it. I, I really wanted to like try to find some Western style pieces that I can do some unique um, different styling with, kind of like that, um, calico kind of style and so I went over into the linens and look what I found how wonderful is that they had it with like blankets this is not a blanket this is clothes so I don't think this is all that um old uh but yeah it, it'll be fun to try to style and do something different with and you know what the tag's still on it it was $4.99 so the next item, I found the cardigan trend I was looking for. Found this beautiful vintage button up. I just love it so much. I don't think this is that old, but it's really got that vintage look and that cardigan style I was looking for. So 
The next item is just a basic and I really was looking for basics. So I found this nice mock turtleneck. And what's so great about this is I can style it with the cardigans I have. Um, also this cream color, this like muted naturals color is really in right now. So it was exciting to find something that was really on trend. And to keep the cream going, I found another cardigan. This is a vintage cardigan. I love the cute tag and the beautiful buttons. And it's it looks brand new. This cardigan looks absolutely brand new. And it's got the ribbing, so it feels very 90s. This was an absolute score. Like this is exactly what I was looking for. It's on trend, it's a cardigan. It's warm and cuddly because I'm always cold. It's got the ribbing. I, yeah, couldn't ask for a better find. And so the next item is another basic. I got a black mock neck and this is tunic length. So I'm really excited about this. This will be great for layering for almost anything. I will wear this a ton. The next item is something I don't usually pick up. It's a band tee and it's, it's modern, it is not old, but it's that kind that is like perfectly washed out and is super duper comfortable. I don't usually buy t-shirts with graphics on them, but this one was just so perfect I couldn't pass it up. And I can tell you right now, I passed up tons of t-shirts with great graphics on them lately because I just, I know I won't wear them, but this one was so good, I couldn't pass it up. And this was $2.99. And the next item is a thermal. And it's got this fun beading and styling that's almost feels Western. This piece feels really 90s and I think I can style it with a lot of pieces to get kind of like that 90s grunge look that I was really hoping to find. So this piece is wonderful. And so this next piece is 90s perfection. This is a button down dress, open front buttons. The buttons are like little people in the design. It's a maxi dress. It goes down past my knees and it's got that 90s ribbing, that 90s silhouette. It is perfect. This is gonna be so great as a layering piece. Put one of those mock turtlenecks under it, put a cardigan over it. This is perfection. And I'm pretty sure this was only $3.99. So this next piece is a wonderful vintage jacket. It's got like a faux suede on the front and then ribbed material for the sleeves and the back and everywhere else. It's got the great vintage tag as you can see and I love this. I used to wear something so similar to this in college all the time except mine was tan so finding one that'll fit me now that was a very similar size was just like oh, going down memory lane and I love it. How great is that? And again, this is kind of a winter and cold weather item, but I still picked it up. Okay, so we're at my favorite part, the accessories. I love accessories. They're what I kind of put together to make an item really feel unique and really feel like me. And sometimes I think you can find the greatest accessories at the thrift store. So. One of the things I absolutely love to find is shoes. So I found these Nine West shoes. They're velvety. They've absolutely never been worn. And these were on sale for less than $2. I found a pair of summer shoes this time. These adorable shoes have such a vintage vibe, right? And I tried them on and they're so darn comfy. So I was really excited about these. They look like they've barely been worn. And I think these were less than $5. The next pair of shoes I found were these wonderful, vintagey looking adorableness. These are, these are just so cute, right? And look, they still have the stuffing inside. So whoever had them took really good care of them. These were on clearance, so they were less than $2. Now you might want to sit down for this one because I found some kind of, I don't know, mythic lore type shoes at the thrift store this last week. 
and I kind of freaked out. Like th these are the kind of things that you, you just don't find. So I found these clear boots. I instantly thought they were Doc Martens, but they're not. They're, they're an imitation. Um, but I cannot wait to wear these. These are going to be so great in like those 90s style outfits that I have. I'm gonna grunge them up, make them look Seattle style. These are just, these are amazing. And these I did pay up a little more for. These were $10. And so the best shoe find that I found in this past week, I, I can't, I still can't believe I found them. So I actually found these in the little kids section. I believe they're boys, Doc Martens, and they look brand new and they fit like a glove. And these will last me basically my lifetime. Um, I paid up for these, these were $14.99 and they're worth every penny. This is perfect for like the 90s look I was going for. Um, this will be perfect with skirts, with the rib shirts, with the cardigans, everything. So you never know. Always check all the sections. I found this in the kids clothing. And some of my final items are house items and purses. So let, I'll just show you the house items. So I bought a set of goblets. I do not need a set of goblets, but I loved these. They kind of look like flower petals. I don't know if you can actually see that. It might be hard to actually see that, but they are so beautiful and they're so sturdy. And I just realized I feel freaking fancy when I drink out of a goblet. So yeah, I now have goblets. So the next household item is kind of a weird one, but in my mind, I kept thinking, I want unique ways to store my jewelry. And what do you know? I found this cool, creepy tree, and this is a jewelry tree. So you can, you know, hang little things on it, and it really just feels like Sleepy Hollow, which is so my jam. So I can't believe I found that. This is gonna be the greatest thing to store my jewelry on. So along with other home goods, I specifically was looking for an eight by 10 frame. Looking for frames is a great reason to keep your measuring tape with you. So I found one and isn't it great? It really has that turn of the century style, but I don't actually think it's that old. I think it's imitation, but I don't care. This is exactly what I was looking for. I can't believe my luck. And that's the crystal on it. I paid $3.99. So I just, I love art. I love art so much. And I also love like funky outsider art or religious art. Um, and I found this beautiful piece. The frame's nice and old, the artwork looks nice and old. And I might create an altered piece of artwork out of this. So I'm really excited about her. Her colors are beautiful. And yeah, I paid $2.99 for that, so. It was a steal for a great vintage piece of art. Okay guys, the last piece of art I found is huge. Give me a second. Okay, so I found this piece of art. So it's an original. It has its original frame and it's just absolutely freaking lutely gorgeous. So, I paid $12.99 for it and I was able to look up the artist and because of who this artist is this is probably a 1940s 1950s piece and not a piece from the 1970s so this is one of those beautiful velvet tourist paintings and I just I love outsider art and this is a perfect example of that also you notice how it kind of looks like the velvet is light colored it's because it's been in the sun. On the back, the velvet's still black. So I love that this has a story. I love that whoever had it, had it out in the sunlight, getting a tan. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the home goods I got. And so I am an absolute nerd when it comes to purses. I love purses, I collect purses. 
like every day I go out, I change out my purse to like, which one should I use today? And I love vintage purses. Wait till you see the ones I found. So I found a legit carpet bag. Now I'm not sure how old this is. Um, if it's 90s to 70s or it really is older, but it's got such a great pattern and look. And it just has like the Mary Poppins vibes, right? Like I love this carpet bag. I have been looking for this size carpet bag specifically for a while. So I'm really excited to have it and it's gonna go so great with so many outfits. Okay, so I have just one more item to show you. And the last item is this tooled purse. It's real leather. It's not necessarily that old, but it is really beautiful. And it's got a great look with the stitching on the side. And it's like brand new. I got this for $4.99 and I couldn't believe my luck. So that's it guys, that is the haul. And goodness, I really, I hope you enjoyed it. Oh my goodness. I love getting out and thrifting and finding great finds. And I really kind of did it as an act of self-care lately to just get out of the house and do something I love. As long as you feel safe, get on out there. Go check out the thrift stores. In my previous video where I talked about great times for thrifting, right now is a great time because so many people were stuck in their home. They were cleaning out things and they were donating things. Every one of these thrift stores I went to had a huge long line of cars all donating stuff right now because people were stuck in their homes and they just got rid of stuff. I know I did. So if you feel comfortable, I hope you get back out there and go find some great things right now because now really is the time. Oh, one more thing, forgot to mention. So, wait, what was I gonna say? Here we go.